All right, what is going on, Dolphins fans? Jacob here, Miami Dolphins Syndicate. A little bit of breaking news for you guys. Braxton Barrios has re-signed with Miami Dolphins on a one-year, $3 million contract to bring back to what is a pretty weak wide receiver core outside of Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. The one guy that's on this wide receiver core that is currently on the active roster that you can be a little bit excited about, didn't get to see a lot out of him since he's been drafted, is Eric Ezukama. After him, you have Braylon Sanders, Matthew Sexton, and uh, Anthony Schwartz as guys that are probably not going to make the active roster once we get around to the end of August, but just guys on the team. And unfortunately, Braxton Berrios, his experience with the Miami Dolphins last year, that was a, a term you could just throw onto him, just a guy on the team. Last year, 27 catches, 238 yards, and a touchdown. Was the primary punt returner for the Miami Dolphins, but there was not a lot going uh, with that as well. So he was a guy that there was a little bit of excitement when he signed with Miami Dolphins. I had a few successful years with the New York Jets. His first two years were his best, or his, two out of his first three years were his two best of his career with almost 400 yards and one with 394 yards, excuse me, and then 431 yards in 2021. Has not got higher than three touchdowns in his career. He's a guy that can make plays from the slot, is, is really undersized. However, he has a good first step, good hands, is a good personality to have in the locker room, which we saw last year in the Hard Knocks series. However, he's not going to be really a needle mover for this Miami Dolphins team when it comes to potentially making the playoffs, winning the AFC East, getting number one seed, and hopefully, eventually, winning the Super Bowl. That's just not what you're getting from Braxton Berrios. But what he is is a, is a guy who is an option in this wide receiver core who desperately needs a third man to step up behind Tyreek Hill and behind Jalen Waddle. We've seen Cedric Wilson now move on to the New Orleans Saints on a two-year, I don't even know what the money is, I know it's a two-year deal with the New Orleans Saints, and there are plenty of guys still out there on the wide receiver market that the Miami Dolphins could bring in to potentially compete for the number three wide receiver spot or look to the draft, but that is clearly still a need on this team as this is a very pass-heavy team, a team that operates best with the ball in their hands, and the the Dolphins hopefully will be looking to add another pass catcher as well as they've already added John Lou Smith to the tight end department. Braxton Barrios is going to come in and probably serve a very similar role to what he did last year. Not be called upon a lot, but when he is, like I mentioned pre previously, you get a good first step. You get work in the slot. You have reliable hands. You have a guy who can play as the punt returner. However, didn't see a lot there. Haven't seen a lot of production in the returning game in general over the last few years with Raheem Mostert returning kicks. And then last year also with, with Braxton Barrios returning punts. Not going to be a lot of explosive plays. He's not going to be a, a home run big playmaker. He's not going to be a game winner type player that you see with Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill alongside him uh, in the wide receiver core. But he is a guy, I keep saying, who is reliable that hopefully will step up. If he doesn't, hopefully Miami Dolphins can bring in somebody else that can step up and pro provide from that wide receiver three role. If not, he can be just a classic slot guy who... You know, you need it. You need in a short yardage situation. You need him to pick up three or four yards. Not gonna be a lot of plays designed for him, but when he is asked to, he steps up, and you know what you're gonna get from him. You know you're not going to get this high upside player, but you know you're not gonna be scratching your head like you know, a lot of wide receivers across this league, like Kadarius Tony, who is given ample opportunities and doesn't succeed, doesn't succeed. When Braxton gets the ball when Braxton has the ball thrown in his area. You feel pretty confident that he's at the very least going to do his job. So not very sexy, splashy. You know, not very entertaining signing or re-signing for the Miami Dolphins, but you need guys like this to fill out the team, fill out depth, give it just another option for Tua. And somebody who's already comfortable and knowledgeable with this offense, already a little comfortable with Tua. Hopefully we can see him step up from his 238 yards and one touchdown this last season and maybe step up closer to his career high of the, that 430 mark and beyond. We'll see what happens. Let me know what your thoughts are of Braxton Barrios and this re-signing for the Miami Dolphins. Again, one-year, $3 million deal. Braxton Barrios re-signing to the Miami Dolphins. Let me know what your thoughts are on this deal down below in the comments, as well as potential options the Miami Dolphins could have for that wide receiver three position that are still out there in free agency, somebody within the team already, or somebody to the draft. Let me know your thoughts on guys you'd like to hear brought into the team down below in the comments. Well, down there, hit that subscribe button and that like button. We appreciate y'all very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Take care, everybody.